Hey guys, welcome to Paracord Planet and welcome to 2020. Today I'm going to be making a modified Cobra Weave bracelet or Solomon bar. On this one it's called the Parallax bracelet. It was thought up by a guy named Roland Moose and so we'll put a link to his profile down in the description. We weren't able to find much in the way of social media for him but we'll link to what we've got. So for this project I've got two different colors of 550 cord, charcoal and black diamond and I've also got neon turquoise and I'll be using a 3 8 inch buckle. I'll also be using a bracelet jig, which isn't entirely necessary, but it makes things a lot clearer on camera to show you guys. For tools, you'll just need a scissors and a lighter. Let's dive in. So to start off with, I'm just going to clip my buckle into the jig. And I'll set it to the correct measurement. My wrist is about seven and a half inches, so I'm gonna do an eight and a half inch bracelet. If you wanna be more exact than that, you can measure it out for yourselves. For cord, you'll only need about four to five feet of each color. I've got 10 feet, which is gonna be way too much, so I'll probably cut it down. But to start off, we're just gonna melt both ends together. So let's hold both of them in the flame. and then hold them together until it dries. There we go. And then I'm just going to leave about five feet of each. It'll probably be closer to four of each color, but that'll ensure that we have enough. All right, so we got our cord cut down. We're just going to offset our fold a little bit and push that down through our top buckle. Once you have that fold through, you can just tuck both cords down through that loop. And there's our top cow hitch with the two colors. And then on the bottom side, we're going to do basically the same thing. Just run both cords, both cord ends down through the buckle. And all you want to do on this is make sure that they don't cross over each other. Sometimes this end of the buckle can be a little bit stubborn. I'm going to melt these a little bit better and flatten them so that they can fit through that tiny 3 8 inch buckle. There we go. All right, then I'll flip my jig around so that we've got our working ends at the top. And we're setting it up just like a cobra weave here. So I want this color to be my accent color on the top of the bracelet. So we're going to start with our base color. We're just going to bring it over the top in a fold like this, or a, a bite. Instead of in the Cobra bracelet where you bring it all the way across, we're just going to go like this. And then with our blue cord, we're going to go diagonal across the front, and then around the back and up through that bite that we made, that loop. Tighten that down. And now we're just going to do a couple weaves of the plain, plain old cobra or Solomon bar. So black cord all the way across the front. Um, your, your base color is always going to be going across the front in this bracelet. Um, that helped me remember how to do this. And then our blue cord, just like the normal Solomon bar, down around the back and up through that loop. And we'll actually do that two times. So the mirror image of that now, our base color across the top, the blue down over that, around the back, and up through this loop. And that's one full set of our knots. So now we'll just keep on repeating that. So we'll do what we did in the first knot, make that backwards S across the front there, and then the blue diagonal over that, around the back, and up through the loop. Now two more standard Solomon. And 
And now you can kind of see our pattern. It's making a diagonal slash across the front, kind of like a, a DNA pattern. So you want to squish your weave together, make sure there's no gaps, and we'll just keep on going with that pattern, and we'll catch you at the end. All right, there we are finished. Now what we've got to do is clip our ends and we'll melt it against the bracelet. You guys know the drill by now. Isn't it great that we're not hacking through our cord anymore? With these new scissors. Those of you that are new to this, you just want to clip it about an eighth of an inch away from your knot and then flatten it against the bracelet. There we are. So there's our finished parallax bracelet. You can see that DNA diagonal weave going on there. I really like this one. It doesn't end up a whole lot thicker than the normal Cobra weave. A lot of these weaves end up just very bulky, but this one is not. So I hope you guys like this one. We'll put links to all the supplies that we used for the paracord and the tools and whatnot down in the description. Um, hope you guys stick around. We put out tutorials twice a week, so be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.